Watch you guys, today we're taking a look at how YouTube channels get hacked. This is at least one way I know that YouTube channels do get hacked. This one has been an email sent from so-called YouTube and they're claiming that I need to take action on this uh, email right away. You can see it says YouTube up the top here and it says no-reply at youtube.com which is a email that YouTube uses quite often. Now at first I thought this was a legitimate email because I couldn't see any uh, email up the top there that said this was from another uh, email account. Uh, so it does say no-reply at youtube.com. Now these would all have their logos here, but obviously with the Outlook set up, it stops these and blocks them. But when you read the actual email itself, this is where you can actually start to see where the email is not from YouTube. And it says here, as you can see right there, changes to your YouTube rules and policies. Check the description by your YouTube team. This email has been sent to notify you of the new monetization policies and the new rules. We have sent you official document. Please use the link below to download the document. The document is also attached to this email intended for private access only. Password, and they give you the password. And there's the link right there with the Google Drive account. Now it says, warning, you only have seven days to review and send a reply uh, letter, otherwise your access will be restricted to our services. Loading new videos, editing old videos, and getting monetization, and getting monetization money earned best wishes, YouTube team. So what do you see there? Right there, they're giving you a link to a file, but it's got a password on it. Why would they want to password a file? Also, also another telltale sign is there's a bit of a, a warning and a sort of emphasis on how important it is to act quickly. And they want you to do this because they want you to download the file and get infected. This is exactly what they're trying to do. Now, Google, as far as I know, would never send you an email with a link like this and a password on a file. I'm pretty sure that Google or YouTube would never, ever do this. And again, I'm hoping that people will share this video so others don't fall for this particular type of scam. It's very easy for people to fall for this particular type of email because there's no real way of telling who it's from. You would actually think it's from YouTube or Google, and this is the problem that we're having right now. As soon as you open this file and click on it, they're going to have control of your account, and basically that is it. Just like Linus Tech Tips was woken up to someone kicking him out of his account and then basically uh, taking full control of his YouTube channel and then started to delete his videos. You can see my antivirus program is running and yet it hasn't detected any sort of foul play or malicious files on my system. And there's a reason for this and I'll explain it right now. So I've downloaded the actual file. I've already downloaded it and had a look at it. But let me go ahead and I've got this now file downloaded onto the computer. Now you should never ever do this on your computer, especially if you're logged into your uh, Google account and you leave it logged in at all times, because let me tell you, they will gain access to your account and they will kick you out. It's the cookie session in that browser is stored information like your username and password, and they will literally be into your account. So I'm gonna drag this file out and now we need to put in the password and uh, basically, once I put this uh, password in, it's going to allow me to take the file out. As you can see, the file itself is YouTube team. So let me go ahead and replace this onto my desktop here. And we'll go into there and take a look at the actual file. You can see the size of the file is quite large. And there's a reason for it being large. The hackers have made it this way deliberately because they know a lot of online scanners will ignore this file and also a lot of uh, scanners on your system will ignore this file because sometimes uh, the scanner software will assume that the file is not malicious because it's too large so it gets ignored so this is a problem that needs to be addressed by antivirus companies to make sure they scan all files no matter how large they are 
you can see here straight away we've got the file on the system. My antivirus is sitting here probably ignoring it, thinking it can't be malware because it's too big. Unfortunately, this is a malicious file, and if you click on it, it's going to take control of your YouTube account, and you're going to end up having a hacker kicking you out of your YouTube account. Now, looking at the file here, it's a PDF file, but no, it's not. That's exactly what they want you to think, that it's a PDF file. But if we go up to the three dots here, go to Options, and go to File Options here, and then go to View, and then toggle off the actual Hide Extensions for Known File Types. This is a problem that Microsoft have never fixed. All they need to do, by default, Leave the check mark out of this, apply an OK, and straight away we can now see the file extension. It is actually a SCR file, which is a screensaver file. Now, this is a malicious file. If I click on this file, I'm going to lose access to my YouTube account. You can see here the size of the file is very large indeed. And the reason for that is, as I've mentioned already, is a lot of antivirus programs don't want to do a deep scan of this file, so they ignore it because they will assume that the file can't be malware because it's too large. In fact, they're wrong. It's just padded out with a bunch of code or empty space. And inside there is just a small portion that is the actual uh, virus itself. The other problem is, as I've mentioned already, is because of the size of the file, you can't upload this file to any online scanners or checkers because the file was too large and it will just say file was too large to upload. And the reason why they're doing this is because they don't want you to upload it to VirusTotal and other sites like this because it will then be detected as a malicious file. And this is the biggest problem that we face today. And this also could be a ransomware file where they would attack you with a ransomware file, get you to click on it, and next thing you know, you are encrypted. All your data is going to be encrypted. So depending on what the hacker is trying to achieve here, it's just going to depend on what file they send you. So you can see here when I scan the file, it says no detections have been found. And it's probably ignored the file, which is not what I want. So here we go. We've got the file on our system now, and we're at major risk if we click on it. If I try to upload it to VirusTotal, you can see here maximum file size exceeded, 650 megabytes. Can't upload the file, can't check the credibility of this file. And now, all of a sudden, you should be saying to yourself, this is a large file. Why would YouTube send me a large file, considering it's supposed to be a PDF file of some sort of terms and conditions? And that would never be at 600 to 700 megabytes in size. And it goes to show you how sneaky some of these hackers are, that they are trying to gain access to my YouTube account using this method. Now, you can look at the email header. I try to look inside here to see where I could see any telltale signs and any sort of IP addresses which I could trace back to them. And this is exactly what they do. They'll bounce this email around and it will get lost. So it's not easy to track. And this is what they're doing. And uh, basically, if this was just the normal average person with no IT knowledge at all, they would quite easily open this email and undo the attachment and click on it. You'd probably have your YouTube account taken over with some sort of red line stealer. And this is exactly what they do. Uh, it happened to Linus Tech Tips. And uh, to be honest, it could happen to anyone. And they're going to go after big YouTubers uh, so they can take them down or take control of their account. So what do we do to stop this? Well, it's going to need a joint effort from everyone to try to bring awareness of this particular problem. Unfortunately, with my type of channel, even though I have 700,000 subscribers, the views that I get is nowhere near enough to get the exposure that it needs for people to see exactly what's actually happening here. Uh, people are falling for this every single day. They're getting emails just like this one or from so-called uh, companies offering products. But this one is from so-called YouTube. And then they're clicking on the attachment and they're losing access to their account. 
And of course, this has happened to quite a few big YouTubers. So you can see here, we've got the spam threshold 95, score for spam is zero and spam flag no. And it says virus scan, okay. And it's also saying on here that this is a legitimate email from youtube.com. And that is the worrying thing when you get in emails like this and uh, people are literally falling for this particular type of nasty scam from hackers to gain access to your account. You can see right here, header from youtube.com, but it's not really from YouTube. It's been bounced around to get to my inbox to make it look like it's from YouTube. You can also see uh, scoutcamp.bounces.google.com. And you can also see there on here, the cipher, which is the encryption. And you can also see CN equals smtp.gmail.com. And you can see it right there on the screen. So we know it's not from YouTube. And uh, basically, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this file onto a virtual machine because I'm not going to play with it on here and we'll see what's inside of it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the file out here. This is the actual file. You can see the size of it, 666 MB. And again, when we open this up in hex editor here, you'll be able to see it says program. Uh, this is a program and it can be run in DOS. And you can see here, this is the first part of it. And then all of the rest is just mass bulk of, uh, you know, junk files here. Now, of course, this file is not going to be this large. Normally, this would be all empty space. And this would just be like a, a filler uh, just to fill the file out to make it large. But they're trying to mask it this time to make it difficult to delete this empty space. So you can actually save the file uh, as a smaller file and then find out what file it is. I'm pretty sure it's either a red line or it's going to be some sort of a ransomware or something like that. It's going to be something nasty and malicious. So what I'm going to do is delete some of this information here. Hopefully I don't delete any of the actual program because this is what I think they're trying to do is make it more difficult for you to delete the junk in here. Otherwise, if you delete any of the program, it's not going to be able to read that uh, code. So what I want to do is just try to delete some of this information here and we'll see exactly uh, what type of file it is and whether it's malicious or not. So I've deleted out what I can and I've got the file down to a reasonable size here so we can upload it. I'm not sure if I've deleted any of the actual program. It still looks functional. I'm going to go ahead and upload this now to Virus Total, and hopefully we can get some sort of, you know, read up on this file to see whether it is malicious or not. I'm pretty sure it is. And uh, what we're going to do here is get this onto Virus Total, and because it's smaller now, we can actually have a look at the size here. I've made it three megabytes. That should be good enough to upload it. There is still a bit of junk in here, but I'm going to try to upload this and hopefully we've not broken the file in any way, shape or form. And uh, it'd be a lot more easier to clear that stuff out if it was just blank space. But you can see already it's now starting to detect it as a malicious file. And you can see here malicious score 100. And that's because probably I might have damaged the file, but you can see program win 32. That's uh, something to do with ransom, I think, ransomware. But you can see here, uh, the actual file has been detected as malicious. It hasn't gone all the way through and might have damaged the file by deleting some code of the program itself, so it can't read it properly. But you'll get a general idea of how this works. It is literally uh, not very good uh, at all to click on, and I'm definitely not going to be undoing this on my main system. So whether you are a YouTuber or not, it doesn't really matter. If you're receiving emails like this one, be super careful. Do not click on them because you would end up losing access to your account. It could be related to your bank or it could be related to YouTube or it could be some sort of ransomware that you're going to click on. So be very, very careful what you're clicking on inside your attachments. Now, what really needs to happen is channels like Linus Tech Tips need to see videos like this and share them with their audience so people can see the way these hackers are getting into your system and gaining access to your system. Now, I know he's made a video himself about how his channel got taken down, but actually seeing an email like this and how it actually works 
makes it much more uh, easier for people to understand. And if he gives it exposure to his channel, that means it's going to get at least, at least 2 million views, which means it's going to get a lot of eyes on it. And that means a lot of people are going to see this video and it will stop people falling foul for this particular type of hack. So anyway, I'm not sure that's going to happen, but it should happen because we need to get exposure on this particular problem to as many YouTubers as possible. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of help to you. If you are a YouTuber or you're not a YouTuber, be very careful with this particular type of attack because you can see here now they're using a different type of approach saying they're from YouTube and it can really be easy to fall for this particular type of scam and you can end up losing access to your account and being kicked out and obviously they can delete all your videos and it can be a nightmare to get your channel back. You might not be as lucky or as quick to get it back as Linus Tech Tips. So anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on our Discord server for a chat. Thanks again. Bye for now.